YouTube, what is happening, Twitch? We got another episode of Flex Friday here. We got episode 24, guys. Episode 24. I think that means we've done, I don't know, five months of Flex Friday. Is that right? Five months of Flex Friday? Maybe, possibly. I don't know. Yeah, I have no clue. Anyways, anyways, six months maybe. Six months. That's six months. Yeah, I think that's six months. Anyways, uh, here we go. Here we go. Hopping right into this. Those that don't know what Flex Friday is, Flex Friday is a series that we created six months ago where people can flex their fla favorite units, their their favorite flavor of the month, flavor of the week, um, and you know show off awesome builds and stuff. Good place to go to see how everybody's building their favorite unit. So with that being said. If you're interested in participating in Flex Friday, you can go down below. There's a Discord link down below. Go to my Discord. Go to E7 Flex Friday channel. You can post your flex there. Sometimes I have to shut it down early because too many flexes too soon. Uh, I can only do so many a week. And with that being said, we have 19 flexes. So I have to hop right in here, guys. Right in here. All right. So we got a kin here, guys. This kin here is from Display Unit. He says, hope this isn't too late. Need that plus 30 Ember Seed and currently farming Dragon's Wrath. We're rocking that Crimson Seed, man. That Crimson Seed. That Crimson Seed here, guys, is an artifact that was limited. It's no longer around, but it has a 70% chance when maxed out to spell one buff when attacked. Very awesome. Someone trying to apply a defense break to you. Poop. It's gone. Rocking a speed and resist set here. We got ourselves a crazy, crazy looking can here with 75k CP, 1900 attack. 1200 defense with that 18k health man with 182 speed 97 percent crit chance 177 critical hit damage and that 85 effective resistance to help resist some of those nasty debuffs that can be applied uh this kin lo is looking pretty nice man pretty nice indeed uh he didn't run any effectiveness because you know when ken goes into his vigor mode i think that's what it's called he, he, he doesn't need the effectiveness to get that defense break in here. This kin's in there just to stall for time. Get that defense break in there. Make them pay the make them pay the price, man. All right, we got ourselves a Arbiter Vildred. Everybody knows I'm a huge Arbiter Vildred fan. Um, were you gonna recall him? Never, never, never recall Arbiter Vildred. Arbiter Arbiter Vildred is life. King Ramirez here says, "Here, hope this is not too late. I love Arbiter Vildred, bad boy for life, man. Fist bump, man." Loving it, loving it. Uh, running, rocking here, Alexa's Basket. Alexa's Basket has to be one of my favorite artifacts on him. Um, I really enjoy the RNG it adds to things. 40% uh, chance when maxed out and increase attack by greater and, and increase your critical hit chance. Um, absolutely amazing artifact here. Rocking 95, um, 95 KCP um, attack set and hit set on him with 4,700 attack. You know this guy's gonna be doing damage. Um, rocking that 137 speed. He's slow as a turtle, but he's a one and done character. You just CR push into him. Boom, do the huge damages. 66% critical hit chance and 278 critical hit damage with 61 effectiveness. Uh, very, very nice Arbiter Vildred. I love seeing that 4,700 damage right there. I know what type of damage he can do with that 4,700 and that 278 critical hit damage. You're cleaving people down and you're cleaving them down real good. Nice, nice flex, man. We got ourselves a kin here. This kin's here from Chang. I've heard stories about this kin working pretty good. Throwing my burn kin back into the mix with all these speed tank uh, kins. Uh, I ran him 30k hit points, 1.2k defense before. I just like this build at the moment. I'll SS a pick when I finish the carrot for detonation flex, guys. Uh, so what we got here is we're rocking a uh, junkyard dog, guys. Junkyard dog has a 50% chance to inflict burns to the enemy for two turns after using a basic skill. Um, this guy's rocking a lifesteal and immunity set with 65k CP, 3,721 attack, 900 defense, 16.8k defense, 131 speed, 74 critical hit chance, 150 critical hit damage, and 40 effectiveness. This is a bizarre kin, um, but I've heard I've heard him talk about this kin working really well for him. Uh, me personally, uh, I, I'm. I'm a little confused how this skin works, but you know what, Chang? If this skin's working for you, man, um, you know, make it happen, man. Make it happen. Thank you for the flex, dude. We got the Juggernaut. We got the King. We got Dark Corvus, guys. Dark Corvus is a 
beautiful, beautiful unit. He just he just kills people. That's what he does. He he takes hits and he kills people all day long. He's like freaking, he's like the Dark Souls of Epic 7, guys. Uh, this is done by Seath here. Juggernaut, Easy Win, God Slayer, whatever you want to call him with 30k hit points. Going to pretty much guarantee that Guild Wars win when a team with two healers. One of my favorite ML 5-star units from design perspective. Right side gear can probably be guessed. Neck, hit point percentage, ring, hit point percentage, boots, hit point percentage, man. Uh, we got a super, super, super thick, thick. Dark Corvus here, running Strat Gauntlet here with effective resistance of 60% uh, 60 with Strat Gauntlet when above 50% health. The effect is halved when he drops below half health. Good luck dropping him below half health. Uh, running 62k CP with a health and speed set here, guys. Uh, rocking 1,124 defense. 30k health, man, 141 speed, critical hit chance of 42, critical hit damage of 185 like those matter, effective resistance of 35. He has one goal in there, and that goal is to kill people. Uh, being somewhere around 25k plus hit points with Dark Corvus is the sweet spot you want to be in. Um, maybe to do some heavy, heavy damage to people, uh, maybe rock and portrait, but this is a very, very nice build indeed. All right, we got ourselves the one, the only, the BBK. She's beautiful, she's dangerous, and she does damage, man. Uh, this is done by L2 Noob for Yule. I probably butchered that, man. I probably butchered that. Uh, BBK used with Tywin. What I'd like to trade for some CR for some damage, but the drops not happening, man. Those drops not happening. Uh, this BBK is looking pretty freaking sexy right now. Uh, so we'll, we'll we'll talk a little bit about this. Rock and Tonfa, man. Any enemy above half health. Is this Tonfa? I always get these confused, guys. We're doing this all over again. We're doing this all over again. Is this Tonfa? Yeah, this is Tonfa. Uh, Tonfa is a great artifact. Man, 16% extra damage when this thing's maxed out to enemies above half health. Uh, we're, we're, we're talking about the Tonfa key again, right? Right? Uh, that's the secret artifact we made ourselves. Uh, speed and immunity here. Uh, this BBK is 83 KCP, man, uh, with 3,922 attack, uh, 9,172 health, 162 speed, man, 68 critical hit chance with 302 sexy, sexy critical hit damage, man. Um, uh, BBK has one purpose in life, and that's to cleave. She cleaves, and she kills people, and she kills somebody else again. Uh, she's absolutely amazing. Uh, this is a great one and done build. Uh, you could possibly even, you know, uh, make her a little bit slower to do more damage depending on what right side gear is. Uh, but either way, she's going to do huge damage with these numbers right there. And she's going to be deleting people off the map. Uh, very, very nice flex, man. Uh, we also have a. It's here, guys. Uh, there we go. There's some numbers flying around the screen there. Looks like some light 46Ks there, 39Ks maybe, uh, 38K. 46k just just some light damage to some random pvp units with a defense break beautiful beautiful we got the one the only the judge the judge the jugs man uh hoping to change the neck for an 85 one but best gear for right now uh nothing wrong with that uh what this person's referring to uh treacherous uh this necklace here is 55 percent crit damage um, they're looking to get a 65% crit damage for an extra 10% critical hit damage. Rocking the Tonfa again. Uh, again, we talked about this 16% damage increase uh, above enemies, above half health. Rocking a attack and critical hit set here with 90k CP, man. 3,800 attack, guys, with 9,883 health, uh, 133 speed, 91 critical hit chance. 256 critical hit damage effectiveness of 35 uh, a lot of people use her on cleave teams with ox slots you rock tagles on ox slots do a cr push up you have a maxed out tagles you do a 20 soul burn she goes in there she cleaves then she gets an extra turn because you did a 20 soul burn and you go in there and you cleave one more time making everybody die in front of you um you know Jug jugs is just freaking insane man she does some insane numbers uh she's debatable debatable on being one of the best cleave units if you got that proper setup man guys we got a flex here from kringle we got 
our Vildred here. First flex post, figured it'd be worthwhile running crit damage percentage, attack percentage, attack percentage right side. Most of his gear is rocking around 10% critical hit, 10% critical damage, giving or take a bit. I choose speed set because I now generally run him with Ruzid as a CR pusher instead of Oxot so I can run, so I can't run a total of Snail. Um, please ignore the not max portrait lol i'm working on it no worries we won't look at that max not now on max portrait guys 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 look away from the non max portrait you do not see a non max portrait guys um you should have never mentioned that kringle sorry um so <laughs> let's hop right in this portrait is a beautiful artifact it was limited time guys hopefully it comes back around because it's a beautiful artifact i think a lot of people missed out on when they should have missed out on it increased damage dealt by 20 percent it's tone plus plus four percent guys tone plus plus four percent uh, max it out max it out uh, man why did you say max it out now now we're now we're stuck on the maxed out that's all we can think about uh, we're rocking a speed and crit set here guys with a hundred and three K CP man beautiful beautiful I love seeing Vildred here man I love seeing Vildred here with 4k attack I love that number 9996 health very healthy very healthy 170 speed 90% critical hit chance beautiful Critical hit damage, 273. As you can tell, I'm a fan of Vildred. I love Vildred, and I love this Vildred. Great job on your Vildred, man. Keep it up, Kringle. Keep it up. Got ourselves another Dark Corvus flex here. We already talked about Strat Gauntlet, so we're going to skip that, guys. We're rocking a Speed and Hell set here. Um, 62k CP. This one's from Gunsoul, guys. I can't really say... He's a flex, as I can't, as he can be improved quite a bit. Speed should be higher. His effective resistance could be better. However, I do support him with C Armin and Mont, so it isn't horrible. Very, very true. You got a nice support team backing you up. Sometimes, sometimes that's all that matters. The right support team, right? Teams matter in this game. Team matters. Um, speed and health set here, guys. 62k CP. Uh, we're rocking 1,100 defense. 30k health. Are you guys seeing a theme with Dark Corvus? High health? High health? I hope you do. Uh, 157 speed. Um, 23 critical hit chance. He doesn't need that. Effective resistance, 70%. Beautiful. Loving it. Very, very thick Corvus gun soul. Hey, keep up the good work on this. Uh, keep on. Uh, keep up. Keep up the good work with your Dark Corvus, man. I'm loving this. I'm loving this. Right. We have a kin here, guys. This kin here. This kin here. I think we've uh, uh, talked about Portrait of Savers, so we're going to skip out on this one. Is rocking a destruction set. This one's done by Bomb Voyage. Uh, finally, my kin. How I want him to since I started playing this game. So this is, this is his dream build. Bomb Voyage. I'm glad you finally re achieved that. Uh, let's take a look at this kin. All right, rocking the destruction set on him, uh, 71 KCP, rocking 1,134 defense with 20 K health, with 169 speed, critical hit chance of 100, 251 critical hit damage with 34 effectiveness. This kin looks like he's pretty thick, man. Uh, I'm finally glad you've reached your goal with your kin, man. It's always nice to hit those milestones that we we place on ourselves for the characters we're building up. And I gotta say, good job on that. You you've achieved it, man. His nice 42k flex with a defense break on the Zerium Colossus Golem 11 from this kin. Nice, sexy, 42k hit with a attack buff. I'm not sure if that's a greater attack buff or not, but I'm loving it, man. Next, guys, is from Lay Ends. Uh, this is his Crow. Um, rocking Arius. Arius is a great artifact. Uh, a lot of people throw it on their tank units, their knight units, to help absorb damage from the other team members and make them a little bit more beefier. Uh, great artifact for PvE. Uh, great artifact for Crow because Crow's main ability is his S3. His S3 has the ability to do his hit points in damage. So if he's missing 20k dam um, health, he's going to do 20k damage with an S3 on somebody. Uh, sometimes that can be dangerous to play with, but very, very fun. Arius helps him achieve that low health even quicker because when it's maxed out it increases defense of all allies by 10 percent and takes 20 percent of that damage suffered by them to himself very very awesome artifact for crowd a lot of people rock that on him we got one that's rocking a speed and health set here uh, a lot of people started running crowd with a speed and health set because like we just mentioned his s3's the damage dealing ability guys uh doing heavy heavy damage and if he's as slow as a turtle you can play around that if he's a little bit faster 
a little bit more dangerous to play with, guys. 62 KCP, guys, rocking 1,425 defense, 23K health, man, 188 speed, guys, with 31... That, that, his crit chance don't matter. Why am I saying crit chance? Effective resistance, 68%. Effectiveness, 25%. Very, very nice crowd, man. Uh, very, very nice speed on him. Very, very nice health. He's definitely somebody you don't want to mess with in the arena. He's, he's one of those uh, crowds that will catch you off guard. And next thing you know, you've lost somebody in your group. Uh, nice flex, man. Nice flex. We're rocking ourselves uh, Tomfa here again, guys, with this Judge Keys. This is by Lost, guys. First flex post. She carried me to the high champion as soon as I got her. Right side is crit damage, flat attack, attack percentage. Yes, I'm using flat attack ring because it rolled insane. There's nothing wrong with flat attack rings that roll insane, man. GG, man. GG. Uh, we're, rocking, uh, we're rocking a destruction and immunity set here with 81 KCP on this Jugs. Uh, eight. 3,500 attack man with uh, 120 speed, 93% crit damage, uh, critical hit chance I mean, uh, 323 critical hit damage. Um, so she is going to do some high crit damage man. I, I would like to see her numbers. I'd be really curious to see these numbers on her and how hard she's hitting. But man, 323 critical hit damage is insane dude. That's insane. I'd like to see those numbers for sure. Um, but yeah, like I said earlier, Jugs goes in there, she burns her S, I think it's her S2 or S3, gets an extra turn, goes in there, burns the other one, boom, boom, double whammy, kissed her butts goodbye, absolutely beautiful loss, nice flex. Right, apparently, apparently guys, it's, it's, it's kin flex time guys, this one's from Thalos, since it's kin week, I guess I'll be showing off my kin too, right? Right side is speed boots. Hit point percentage ring and critical damage necklace, baby. Let's go. We're rocking Portrait of Sabres. We talked about that. That's a limited artifact, 20% extra damage, guys. We're rocking a speed and critical hit set, guys. Uh, 70 KCP, 2,112 attack, 18.5K health, uh, rocking a 183 speed with 84 critical hit chance, 243 critical hit damage, man. Effectiveness, 19%, man. Very, very nice, man. Very, very nice. Uh, this kid's definitely going to be doing some damage, and he's going to be hitting you back hard, man. All right, we got ourselves a BBK. It's in the game. Um, might get copyrighted for that, right? Chaotic Hawk here, flexing BBK. Uh, my first well-built cleaver on EU main account, man. Uh, we got a uh, Tomfa here. We've talked about Tomfa. As you notice, a lot of one and nine characters rock, por rock portrait or Tomfa. It's a very good thing to go with, guys. Rocking an attack and critical hit set. Rocking 85 KCP, man. 3,966 attack, guys. Uh, with 10.9K health. Very nice. 125 speed. 86 critical hit chance, 277 critical hit damage, effectiveness of 53, man. I mean, absolutely insane. You know she's pulling some big numbers off, too. Um, when, when you hit that 250 critical hit damage and that 4K attack, you see that huge jump with those one-and-done characters with the huge damage, man. It, it's absolutely amazing. And I, I think you finally reached that point there, Chaotic Hawk. Ni nice flex there with your BBK. I can appreciate that. We got a, another kin flex, guys. If you guys want to know where to do kin builds at, uh, there's a whole bunch of kin builds all over the place on this video. Check them out. Decide on which one's best for you. Uh, we got this one done by Juju Shinobi, man. Redid by kin since the arena chest rolled like kin gear. Shame, it's low rolled almost all the way, guys. We're rocking a speed and critical hit set here, guys. Uh, Portrait of Saviors. Theme, theme. 71 KCP. Uh, 1800 attack. Defense is 1,200, 21.2K health. Speed is 179, 92% critical hit chance, 247 critical hit damage. A very, very nice kin, man. Uh, Juju Shinobi, man. Liking it, liking it. Great stats. By the one, the only, the original Pikachu, guys. Um, hopefully, I can make it in. Here's my Vildred that cleaves very, very well. And finally got that 4K sexy attack today, guys. I added that sexy part because it just needed to be in that sentence, okay? Uh, rocking Tonfa. We got a theme going again here, guys. 84K CP, guys. Rocking a critical hit set. Broken set, guys. Nothing wrong with rocking broken sets. We've talked about this before. If you can get your stats and you have a broken set, there's nothing wrong with that. Don't get hung up on those stats. A lot of people get hung up hung, hung up on those stats. Think they got a pair, pair two 
you know two things together to complete a set you don't have to do that you don't have to do that if you can hit the right numbers and these are the right numbers right here 4k attack here guys 9,513 health, 129 speed, 92 critical hit chance, 280 critical hit damage, man. Again, another one and done character. Are you guys seeing a theme with Cleaver, guys? 4K attack above 250 critical hit damage. It's sexy, man. It's sexy. And that's the way you want to do it. You want to go in there and cleave them and take them down, man. And take them down. Uh, very, very nice flex here, Pikachu, man. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. Flex here, apparently it's too cool for a name, um, is the name, guys. Uh, we got Arbiter Vildred here rocking Alexa's Basket. We talked about Alexa, Alexa's Basket. Love the artifact, man. One of my favorites. Uh, rocking a speed and critical hit set here. 87k CP, 3,559 attack. Uh, rocking that 151 speed here with 96% critical hit chance. 272 critical hit damage uh, very very nice Vildred here too cool for name uh, only thing I would recommend is try to hit that 4k attack um, get his damage up there just a little bit more but you have so much more room to improve on this gear right here couple 70 pieces uh, you know you'll get there you'll get there very very nice flex indeed all right we got ourselves another flex here from Omega man throwing a little flex in for the latest update for my dark curves I changed one piece on him and gave him an extra 200 defense all right side is still hit point percentage uh, I admit uh, Part of the goal is to show you that you don't need to obsess and pursue wyvern 11 above all else All right, so what we got here is dark Corvus man. Uh, we're rocking a dark Corvus with proof of courage uh, Very interesting choice there for sure um, Let's see what proof of courage is uh, again common Proof of Valor. Proof of Valor. Never mind. Uh, decreased damage taken by 30%. Effect decreased by 3% with each attack suffered down to 15%. Uh, highly, I would recommend running like Portrait on him for some extra damage. Um, but uh, very, very nice flex here. You got 45k CP. Uh, 1,100 defense. Um, 2,100 health. You're rocking a triple health set uh with 2100 health you need to be in that 25k range for corvus to be one-shotting uh tank units uh and with 102 speed uh he is a little bit slow on the slow part but you know what this is a good start on your corvus man um just start making it happen get that health up there a little bit more to that 25k range get that speed to 157 for it's not turtle matches man and uh you're gonna be doing some work with your dark corvus man for sure i'm sure you're already doing work with him as it is right now this out too he also has a 13 plus 13 85 necklace there and a plus 12 85 ring there too man and he's also level 50 so when this dark corvus is said and done he's gonna probably be close to the 30k range pretty close in the 30k range so he's definitely gonna be in a healthy range but very nice build dude seriously seriously you're on the right track all right, we got ourselves a flex here from immortal my main water dps on eu uh we got kisei here oh gosh this is a sexy Kisei, guys. Uh, I, I may have just fell in love, guys. I may just have, have fell in love. Um, do you ever even do math? I do not. Um, all right. So we got RNL here with 20% chance to be granted an extra turn at the end of turn. Can be activated once per turn. Um, could be absolutely devastating with her, to be honest. Rocking 110k CP with the speed and critical hit set here, guys. Uh, 3,907 attack, guys. 182 speed 99 critical hit chance 238 critical hit damage man i would not want to be hit by this girl man s3 proc proc an rnl into an s2 whoo whoo things are getting hot in here whoo uh yeah this key stays very nice man immortal gg man gg all right, we got ourselves the last flex of the night from Akasha Maka. Uh, this is a uh, Charles here. Um, Charles is a very, very dangerous unit, guys. Uh, Charles can do work, uh, lots of work, guys. We're rocking an Elvis Ritual Sword here. There's so many different builds for Charles. This is one of them. Uh, rocking a counter and immunity set here, man. Not only can you not hit anybody, you can't hit Charles because he's going to hit you back. Uh, rocking 61k CP here, 27 thousand 2700 attack uh 1016 defense 14.1k health 130 speed critical hit chance of 74 percent and critical hit damage of 253 his whole purpose is is to slap you back in the face 
slap you back in the face. Those that don't know how Charles works, he has a chance when he, he attacks with his S1 to proc his S2, meaning he has a 20% chance to counter with the counter set on. With Elber's Ritual Sword, he has a 20% chance to counter. Boom, he hits you with an S1. Then he has like a 30% chance to proc an S2. Then you just got double slapped. Uh, you can have a bad day going up against Charles here, man. Um, Elbrus Ritual Sword, for example, 20% maxed out. Chance to counterattack when an allies attack. This makes this Charles extremely deadly, man. Extremely deadly. This is one of the builds I've seen out there. One of the mini builds of Charles. Uh, there's so many different ways you can build Charles, but this is also a great build. Uh, thank you for showing this flex, man. Uh, I don't think we've seen a counter Charles yet. We may have. I don't know. But very, very nice indeed. Uh, with that being said, guys, we have finished the end of Flex Friday, guys. We've reached the end of this. I'm not sure how long this video is going to be, um, so I, I apologize if it's too long. Um, I try to cut the flexes off after they hit a certain point. Sometimes they get out of hand, but sometimes that's nice. You know what I mean? And uh, if you'd like to do a flex yourself, like to show off your favorite unit and how you built your favorite unit, post up uh, po go to my discord below guys go over to the e7 flex friday channel post it in there if you'd like to participate in flex friday come over here to twitch tv links below guys come over to twitch tv <coughs> show off your favorite flex uh be here for raids from like yinny v that just happened here um and all that good stuff you know um and, and, and get the vote on your favorite flexes because we post a straw poll people get the vote your unit may get covered on the thumbnail. Who knows? Who knows? But with that being said, guys, with that being said, uh, thank you for watching this episode of Flex Friday. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Turn on, no turn on those notifications. Um, come join me over here on Twitch. Um, shoot me a follow on Twitch, you know. Um, if you like to support the stream, you can go below. I have a website posted below where you can support the stream. Um, um, stream in the videos, in my YouTube videos. So, um, yeah, with all that being said, I'll catch you later, YouTube. Twitch, don't go anywhere. We're still going. <laughs>